Alrighty, can't get a um, try to do channeling. See who's here, see what's going on. So, um, see you in a little bit. This is a message coming from Orion. Do not be startled, for it is not all negativity around this area. Something that most people, most humans, have a mindset of is that there is all negativity and there is old energy from old times around, of course, to understand our history, there were lots of wars similar to Earth, a lot of unbalanced negative alliances, but that is not the message for today. We are here in regards to the well-being and current understanding of negative forces around your area at this time. As you know, there is much light and much to be proud of and much accomplished here, for that is the path. You are continuing to go, and your ascension will come in the time needed. And that is not something to be worried about, for that is your destiny. But there are many influences that are currently around the Earth, and Gaia is being hit from all sides. Yes, you have an understanding of the negativity, but it is much more escalated in a multidimensional way that you can really not comprehend. You cannot understand. But it is not for you to understand, so that is not something to worry about. What is to worry about is that the negative influences here, even though they may not be able to fully accomplish their missions of trying to stop this ascension, they can delay it for quite some time. And we are here to give you a message to keep your vibrations up. But this is going to be a very difficult bringing out, a difficult time for bringing out enlightenment. Because you cannot see completely beyond the veil, but just glimpses. Just know that there is the protection and to still trust in positive alien life forms and beings. For you are alien, and you already know that. I'm not going to waste your time nor my time talking about that. But know that there are great influences. So we ask that the majority of you and all who get this message. To live in the light, be proud of who you are, but do not underestimate the negative forces that are here. 
And many of you may think, well, things are. You are a reptilian, a Draco reptilian from Orion. How can we trust you? That will lie into your faith and your removal of belief systems. For there is light everywhere, no matter how dense and no matter how much darkness there is. For you know that once there is light within dark, there is no darkness. Once there is the light in the room, you see the way. So that is not something to worry about. But I would like to introduce myself, for that is how your people tend to trust outside sources. We are very proud for the work that you have done and when it is time we will be there to assist but we have our own worries and our own troubles and battles as well but this was a message that felt like it was needed not the state of emergency or urgency but we want to shed the message that there is a great deal of negativity that could have some major consequences. So just do not underestimate it. Even though your light and your journey to succeed is still going to happen. Because nothing can stop that. You are not letting that. You are not letting that. Journey end or you are not stopping. You are not stopping yourselves. Basically anymore for you did for long periods of time. The new age is upon you and we ask that you call on the guidance that is around you for you need it dear. But we love you and we shed our green light to you and the white light of course. Thank you, Musk. I feel there might be someone else here, so um, I'm going to see how it goes. Good afternoon. I had to ask if it was okay to chime in for a little bit for I was listening in onto this conversation. For I am all around. And let's just say I am very encouraged by these kind of words that were spoken and I would like to basically shed some light on your ascension for we love humanity. Humanity makes us so thrilled. You guys are so very entertaining. And even though some may not understand that, and I hope you don't take it in a bad way, we do not mean it in a bad way. For you have so many limitations you cast on yourselves, and you have been successful, and you have basically beaten every obstacle that was thrown in your way. Yes, you are dealing with the battle of self right now, but that is a battle that is much needed, and we are happy that you are going through it. Everyone has gone through that, and with the battle within the self needs to happen first before you unify, as most of you know. I am a white Lyran from 
I like to call it the house of Avian. We are in a much higher dimension with much higher communication, but we just cannot help ourselves because we, we wanted to come in and we wanted to say thank you for your process. And many of you know that yes, speaking from the Lyran Collective, we have had much to say within your biological making, within your physicality, and even though the Prime Creator, the Great One, has made all beings, he or she, whatever you may refer to as the, the one being. They have given us the opportunity to have a say in the creation of humanity and the different variations of humanity and we just would like to say that we couldn't have that any better and we are eternally grateful um, to see you succeed and to basically plant the seeds and watch them grow beautifully. We love to see growth. And you are in early stages, but once you are past these early stages, you will shoot farther than you will ever have before and more than you can ever imagine because the, the linear thought that you have will soon be gone and we will be able to communicate at a much higher level and we are just waiting for that but when you are in the now it is a little better with patience because there is no time and many of you may think well you would have more patience when there is no time well for us it is it is eternity so yes we want to do things right but we also want to do things right away of course because if we are, we, well, we are creator beings. So as creator beings, we love to create. We love to take what we have been given and love to spread it out everywhere else. So we are just waiting for the day that you guys will be along your journey um, and basically be, I guess you can say, in the ranks with the other extraterrestrials within the journeys, yes, you are far behind, but this was all done for a great purpose. And let's just say it will pay off in the end, and we are just so happy to be here with you, and we are always watching you, and we are always uh, giving you courage and inspirations, even if you do not know we are doing it, we are doing it. Know that you are blessed, and know that each one of you has the gift of God inside you. And because of that, there is nothing that can stop you. Yes, we know that the reptilian gave positive messages, but we also, for we have our history with them, we do see more of their perspective now. And he was right to say that you, you, you do not want to underestimate the negativity. For there's great negativity for when you realize there are things that you just cannot comprehend that do control and have impacts on many of the things in your lives. You must start to learn that there are forces much greater than you with much greater manipulation. So we ask that seed that is with inside you. We want that to grow so when these occurrences happen, you become more aware and you become more sustainable and can adapt to the changes going on inside you. That is all for today. We will keep it short for this one has a lot of difficulty, difficulty because he has much to unlock within himself to have clear messages. But we are here and we are thankful, so we wanted to chime in. From the lands, we send you much love. And as you guys like to say, I am out. Bless.
Okay. That was cool. So, um, hope you enjoyed. And we'll um, see how that next one goes. So, I'm excited. Alright, have a good day, guys. Peace.